Supreme and Raiders 2019 collection. Well, talking about being fluid, talking about being like water, like Eric Benetti mentioned in an interview that I'm going to read to you later. Um, this is another example of that kind of fluidity that's allowed Supreme to be remain the number one streetwear brand in the world. Now, this collection, is it anything to write home about? This little uh, capsule collection with the Raiders? Probably not. Will, will most ca kids care about it? Probably yes, because you know, Supreme stuff has retail value, so they're always going to care about it. But again, just another clear indication of just how well positioned Supreme are that they can put out these, on the face of it, quite naff capsule collections that have been done to death, a bit tired of seeing the Raiders iconography or logo anywhere. No one really gives a shit for the most part culturally about it. I think in the same way they did in the past, but it's got that cachet, that cool cachet that kids like. Um, and again, I think if I was if I was the age of these kids that are featured in this lookbook, or if I was 16, 15, and I saw this come out, I'd be all over it, all over it. Especially when you just get your introduction to hip hop, you start listening to Wu-Tang, sorry, you start listening to Wu-Tang Clan, you start listening to stuff from the East, from the West Coast, um, you start just to get involved with music and pick collecting vinyl and maybe DJing, maybe going to events. You start just to kind of come around. You might have an older person. You might, there might be a couple of older people in your crew, some older brothers who kind of put you on. And this stuff, this stuff kind of starts to marry, starts to make relevance. Or not even that, just, you know, browsing Instagram, you stumble across your favorite artist or celebrity of choice and they're wearing these clothing pieces and you're like, shit, I need that too. So I get what they're doing, 100% get it. Now for me, is it for me? Probably not. Would I wear it? No. Well, do they care about my opinion? No way, shape or form. But what I do like is a lookbook. I like the the free, the 35 millimeter film photography for the lookbook. I like how casual it is. I like that the fact that they've 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 switched between uh, using the kids from the kids in for the states for some stuff for some of the lookbook uh, pieces and also the kids from the crew in Paris some of the London people I like how they flip around I'm not sure if it's to do with the fact that they want to have uh, European kids wearing specifically American iconography kind of design led influence pieces in order to kind of grab that European market right because I'd imagine Raiders doesn't have the same collect connotation they would do in the States right people wouldn't really give a shit about it as much as they would do in the States so maybe it's a good way to kind of get that kind of market or it's just a great way to kind of you know uh get that kind of Parisian side of it the European side interested or kind of you know get them involved with the whole supreme brand overall they are involved anyway if you look at if you look at how uh, they how they kind of you know communicate with the uh, with the other stores, you see some people from the states going over and checking them out and stuff, and visiting and showing them around and stuff. And it seems like from the outside looking in, the Paris store has a very particular kind of vibe. The people that work there are a particular kind of people. They're very native to the actual city. Um, they're tapped into a local skate crew or skate community there, which I think is also a genius move on Supreme's part. So yeah, just generally just aced it out the window, aced it out of the park, sorry. And yeah, the lookbook looks great. Um, the kids wearing it look awesome. Again, if I was that age, I'd be all over this collection. But I think at this point in my life, I think wearing Supreme uh, branded items, especially with the Raiders logo, is probably a bit naff in my in my place in life. But again, I like the I like the lookbook. I think it looks fucking awesome. Really great pictures. Um, well done. Have you noticed as well lately within the last few or so Supreme uh, drops or Supreme um, previews for their footwear collaborations? Most of the shoes are worn. Have you noticed that? And I, I've, I've seen it now being filtrated through to other brands. Other brands are now adopting that same thing, which I like because I always and I, I've always hated when you saw lookbooks and you saw lookbooks of clothing where the the, the, the shirts hadn't been steamed or ironed or anything or whatever. They still had the fold lines in and just plucked it out of the paint out of the plastic like. Make it look worn, like make it look like it's natural, like it's it feels comfortable, and it's not just some stiff in it. Just just got printed today. Like give it some kind of I don't know, let it live a little bit. I, that's what I never liked. And I think as well sometimes with those pictures that you see on hype of people wearing some version of a you know an Air Max or some sort of other nondescript retro, and they've always got the fucking funky color sock on the pin rolls. They're always standing on their tiptoes. Like it's always that annoying fucking pose. They look like they're running, but they're not. You know, you damn well know sneakerheads don't run. So they always doing that weird kind of pose it really annoys me it's always like focused in on the feet it's never taken into context where they are it's all just like kind of sterile environments and the shoes just look too shiny right i just don't like it. it's too too shiny for me i'm not telling you to go play you know fucking five side football and then take a picture of them but at least make them look a little bit you know warm a little bit real a little bit warmer and i like the fact that supreme size do that themselves but yeah uh, back to this collection um uh, you have t-shirts polos this polo is pretty nice. Oh, is that a polo? Oh, it's a button actually. It's not even a polo. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I quite like the button down. 
The button down's quite nice. Uh, it comes with a matching short set. Again, I, I look like an absolute wanker wearing this, I think, at this age. But again, if I was younger, this would be right up my alley. The hoodie's fairly cool, fairly um, innocent for the most part. You know, you've got the Raiders logo on the back, Supreme um, written on the front. Of course, you've got to have that because if you don't have Supreme on the front, who's going to know you're wearing Supreme? The black's obviously the stellar colorway in that. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind actually the white the white one. I can, I can imagine seeing someone like an Alex also wearing a white one and making it look quite swaggy. The t-shirt looks quite nice as well. I like the hat. Of course, the hat is fucking great. The hat's interesting, isn't it? It looks like it's a bit flimsy on the front. I wonder what that's about. Is that the way it's cut or it's like a vintage shape? I don't know. Can you see that? The hat there in the front looks a little bit shrunk, a little bit shrink. It, it reminds me a little bit. No, not to, It reminds me a little bit of an 8. Is that because it's an 8 bill cap? That's why it's a bit. I don't know. I think the fit of that would be quite interesting to see how that looks like in IRL. But yeah, again, great collection as per usual from Supreme. Raiders, Raiders collaboration, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out this Thursday, right? That's why they always preview that. Yeah, we should do a good job of, the, of of announcing stuff when it's just about to come out too. It's like, you know, Apple's sort of done that too, right? Whenever they have a... Uh, whenever they're displaying some new technology on one of their shows, it's, it's, it's always a kind of a precursor to it coming out quite soon. They don't really waste time in between, you know, just promote stuff for the sake of it. They'll just they'll always tell you a timeline of when stuff's going to come. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like